everyone, so I'm back with another video today and today's video is all about tinting your own eyebrows. So I actually got this um, tutorial from Ashlyn Van Horn. She is another beauty blogger. She um, made it look really, really easy. So I ran to Walgreens, bought what I needed to buy. I did it on myself a couple days ago. As you can tell, it's lightened up a lot. I don't have any product on right now. They did look a lot darker when I had originally done them. So when I actually do the tutorial right now, I'm obviously gonna put a little bit more because I did not know that it lightened that much. Surprise needed. You will just go to your local Walgreens or to HEB or any drugstore and you are going to grab just for men mustache and beard dye. I got mine in medium brown. I know that sounds so weird, but she did it exactly with this and it really did a good job. So reason she said to use this compared to like regular hair dye is because hair dye chemicals are too harsh to put near your eyes, poke my eye, are too harsh to put near your eye. And this is um, not as harsh, I guess. So you're gonna grab this. You're gonna grab the color that you feel like you need. I got medium brown because um, although I do have blonde in my hair, I have the majority brown. So I wanted to go with this color and I usually do darker brows anyways. You're also going to need just a regular napkin or paper towel, a makeup wipe, a concealer, and a flathead brush. Super simple, nothing crazy. It comes in the little pack. I actually bought this from Walgreens too, it was $3. Just get like a little flat head like this one that you don't really care about, I guess, that you don't mind ruining with dye. That's why I bought this, but what comes in this little box, it comes with a little tray, a color base, and a color developer. They came with some other stuff, but we're not gonna use any of those things. So what you are going to do, first things first, you are going to grab your base, the color base, and you are not going to put a whole lot on. You're just gonna put a dot. Sorry, it's a little messy because I had done it a couple days ago. You're gonna put just a little dot like that, and then you're gonna get the color developer and you are going to put about that much on. So once you have your little concoction, you are going to stir it up and mix it together. And it's gonna look something like that. Get this and put it on the napkin that you have just to clean that up a little bit. I'm gonna be using a mirror because I want to be as precise as I possibly can be. So I'm gonna be using my very dirty, this little mirror just so that I can see exactly what I'm doing. But what you're gonna basically do first, get your concealer, get your angled brush that you use for concealer and carve out your eyebrow. I have a hair tie on my wrist and I feel like my hair is gonna be getting in the way. So let me move my hair out of my face real quick. Okay. Once you have your hair out of your face, you're gonna grab your concealer and you are going to carve out your brow. And the reason we're doing this is first of all, to be able to see um, where you want the shape to start and it's also going to prevent the dye from staining your skin And then you're gonna do The same thing to the bottom So it should look something like this and then we're gonna do, gosh, my hair does not look that cute. And then you're gonna do the same thing to your other brow. 
Y'all are going to be shocked with how quick and easy this is. I was so scared because I was like, oh my God, I am not gonna do this right. I am gonna mess something up. And it's really simple. It's not anything crazy. And I was really, really impressed on the first day. But the reason I'm going back in right now is because it definitely lightens up a lot. Okay, cool. So we have both eyebrows done. So now, now we are going to go in with the dye, which we already set aside. You're gonna take some on your brush and you're literally just going to put it on your eyebrow the way that you fill in your eyebrows so it's not I mean, it's really simple. I have really, really light hairs at the end right here. So that is what I noticed lightened the most. So I'm gonna put just a little bit extra right there. And I'm honestly not doing like a huge glob of it just because you don't want it to look sloppy or messy. You want it to look really even when you're done. So once you've done it on that one, you're going to do it on your other one, obviously. And I'm just going to go in a little, little tiny bit more. Because I want the color to develop nice and evenly. If you get some a little um, on your skin, it's no big deal. Just get a Q-tip and wipe it off just before it dries. Um, and if you get it like where you put your concealer, that's totally fine. We did that as a border for our eyebrows. Um, exactly for that reason, so that we could just wipe it off after. Okay, so once we finish doing that, you are going to wait five minutes you're gonna wait five minutes to set like a little timer, check your Instagram feed, whatever you wanna do, but just five minutes and then I will be right back. In five minutes, it darkened this much. So I know, I know, I know, they look really crazy right now, but we are going to wipe it away <laughs> and it gets better, I promise. Everything is gonna to come together. It is not gonna look this crazy. So you're gonna get your napkin and you are going to rub it away along with that concealer that you put on the outside. Okay. Same thing to this side. And then you're going to grab a makeup wipe because there's still product in there, even though we did wipe what we could away. You're gonna grab your makeup wipe and you are just going to clean it up. See, there's still so much um, dye in there. And it's wiping away some of the makeup that I already had on, but that's totally fine. Just to make sure I got all the product off, I'm gonna go back in with that napkin and go through it just one more time. And that is the finished look. I mean, they look super natural. They don't look as crazy as they looked when I revealed them right now. I What I did when I had done this the other day grab some clear brow gel. I'm using the one from e.l.f. because it's super cheap. It was like $3 or something. And I don't need it, well, because I don't like to fill in my eyebrows too crazy or anything. So this is perfect. Um, I don't know how long it lasts, honestly, because I just did it a couple days ago and it lightened up a lot. I wanna say it'll last like maybe five, six days. I don't think it'll last as long as if you professionally get your eyebrows tinted, but, um, I'm totally fine with doing this if I don't have to spend extra time like doing my eyebrows every single time I do my makeup, totally fine. So all I'm doing to do my eyebrows today, I'm just getting this and, oh, I 
There's still a little bit of dye here. I'll go back and clean that in a minute. You just set it down. And that's it. I mean, I love the finished look. I love the way, you know, it looks super natural, but it also frames your face so much. Okay, so I came outside to show y'all in some different lighting because obviously we're not gonna be in front of a ring light in our regular lives, but this is how they look. I really love them, you guys. I hope that you like this as much as I do. Now that that is completed, my face looks complete and it's super simple, very easy. You don't have to go and spend $10 to tint your eye. I mean, it's not a lot. It's like what, $15, $15, $20 to tint your eyebrows professionally. The box of that just for men beard stuff was literally $8. It'll last you. I mean, I'm not going to be using a whole lot of it. It's just for your eyebrows. So, I mean, hopefully that lasts longer than having to go back every couple months to tint your eyebrows. This is super convenient. It's super easy, super affordable. So if y'all do try this out, let me know what you think of it. Take pictures, send them to me. I want to see if y'all love this as much as I do. I am so grateful that I came across that video because I love it. I mean, I'm definitely going to be doing this from now on, I don't have to be spending extra money on eyebrow pencils or shadows or anything like that now. I can just do them myself. I hope you all enjoyed this little DIY tinting session. And if you do wanna see more DIY kind of things like this, let me know in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and leave me comments. Thank y'all.